the difference between manual QA and QA automation? What the flip is the difference between QA those? Automation. All right, so manual QA is more, um, the way I could explain it, it's like more human centric. So it's like, I'm like I said, like our motto is to test like a user. So I'm a human being going through the app with my own fingers, with my own brain, my own thought process, and going through it like I'm a user. But QA automation is more code based, it's more yeah. technical. So it's like the developers are writing the code to go through these steps in like a like So code. they have AI or they write code to basically have AI that's yeah. doing the QA job, but it's a AI that's doing the QA job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. And that's it goes wild. through, like it could be as basic or complicated as you want it to be, but like some of them, like they get like, like what, like what we do, like <clears throat> when we develop a new feature, like sometimes we go and do like regression testing to make sure like the new thing that we made isn't breaking the old stuff that we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, so like we don't want to waste time going through all these old test cases and stuff like that. So we'll get, so we'll send those over to a QA to someone in QA automation, and they'll write up the code to make the AI go through all those tests. And the AI will be like, "Yo, this is broken. You guys got to fix this, or whatever." Is that why? Um, so I'm, I'm is the, I've heard whispers for the past couple of years um, when I was trying to get into tech and I was trying different routes and then I found out about the tech boot camp uh, that I did. Um, I've heard whispers for a couple of years that they're saying that QA manual QA might be done away with in the future. Um, so you don't think that's a thing that's going to happen in the future? Nah, uh, you can't. Nah, you could. <laughs> you could try to. Um make things as technical as you want but you can't really substitute a human experience yeah you really can't yeah so like there's always going to be room for especially like with the apps that are coming out now there's always going to be room for some type of they're going to need like a human to test yo for everybody who is listening and you're thinking that you're interested in a career in tech sales i suggest you check out course careers Course Careers is a tech boot camp that you can do it entirely from home. It's entirely virtual and it's self-paced. So that means you can knock it out in as early as two weeks or even take a few months if you need to. Now, the really cool thing about Course Careers is that they're actually partnered with multiple tech companies that are hiring their students right after finishing the program. The great thing about Course Careers is that with those partnerships, they're able to guarantee you jobs with some of their partner companies. Now, beyond that alone, the other cool thing we want to tell you about them is that Course Careers is actually only $500. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But since we've partnered with Course Careers, they're offering our audience a discount of $50 off that already low price. So make sure you use our discount link that we have below. So that way you can take advantage of that $50 off that already low price. Do Course Careers at your own pace and let us know what job you end up getting from it.